Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel. My name's Catherine from Soul Siren Tarot, here to do a general reading for you for this month. I'm not time stamping them anymore, I'm just trusting if they get to you and they resonate with you, they're yours at that time. I do hope they help, if they don't just kick it to the curb, or if you know something would help please do share, alright. I am open to private readings at the moment if you're interested in that, keeping it at £30 an hour, you'll see down the link below to soulsirentarot at gmail.com, just email me. Um, in terms of where I I've been I'm sorry there's been uh, quite a delay there um, but I've been retraining as a counsellor and psychotherapist um, and with that in mind I've opened a new business soul siren therapy if you're interested in that link to the websites below have a look at that all right appreciate your feedback anyway all right guys so without further ado let us crack on okay i'm going to go straight to the fairies and um, fairy forest cards to see who you're calling in at the minute because what i like doing when i start a tarot reading is seeing who who in the you know the other other regions are you calling in for support at the moment you might be doing it unconsciously but they're always there they're always around you your guides let's see who's being called in at the moment i felt it and i'll take it oh wow beautiful right you've got the life bringer virgo this is stunning this is about fulfillment it always feels very very empress like emperor like to me you move into a place in your life where you're quite established right certainly whatever journey you're starting on you're starting to establish that it's your growth it's your fulfillment it's your happiness right so what whatever path you're on at the moment wherever it is you're moving to this is telling me you're getting into a really grounded energy virgo you know you're trusting yourself now you're trusting your value the roots that are taking place will be long term right i feel like i've got a virgo who's been through one heck of a journey one heck of a journey right and you, you might be at the point where you're thinking what next you know what's coming to knock me down next but i'm feeling now that all that hard work is about to pay off all of that hard work is about to pay off and this furry is with you to help you gather i want to say gather your harvest together gather your harvest together uh, establish your ground um, and get yourself into a very i want to say stable place virgo right that's what i'm saying i feel like i just want to say it's all coming together right i've gone to the tarot what have you sent me straight away now this is glorious because can you see this is the queen of swords this is about clarity this is about cutting out um anything that's that's not serving you well in your life you know and i feel you've been in this energy this is someone who's moved into the energy of it might hurt to let certain things go sacrifice certain things but that doesn't stop me from moving them out of my life getting that out of my life and what do you know when i looked at the life bringer I was actually going to say, um, can you see, it's like the peacock here, can you see the peacock here and the feathers, can you see, seeing, it's all the wrong way around, seeing there, where it's, it feels very peacocky, doesn't it, right, I can feel the lightness of it just there, right, together, so that's what I'm feeling, because I feel like, I always say about the peacock, it can seem a very, very plain bird, you know, nobody really sees the beauty in it, and then all of a sudden, you know, its tail comes out, and, and the feathers, and everyone's like, whoa, it's absolutely amazing, and Virgo, I feel that's where you're moving to, you're starting to show your true self, your true colours, and that is something people are finding very, very attractive right very attractive because you can see in the queen of swords here right you can see here she's wearing a crown very proudly and you can tell you wouldn't mess with her but her face isn't unkind is it it's not an unkind face she's just very clear on who she is and remember this is male or female and the sword is upraised to say basically don't mess with me do not mess with me, says Virgo. That's what I'm feeling. And I feel that's been a tough lesson to learn. Because, as you know, getting to the Empress is about mastering all your queens, yeah, to be to become the Empress, ultimately. And I feel this is what, sort of, the, one of the final battles you've had to have, where you're able to deploy that Queen of Swords to protect your own interest. And maybe you've had to be very protective recently, Virgo, you know, being very careful. And I feel that because, look at this. Here we've got the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is about missing someone, about a past love, a regret, you know, um, someone who let you down badly, I'm missing it. And maybe you're looking for something similar in your life, a new love in your life at the moment, right? You're feeling quite empty and lost, but you're recovering from, I can see here, the Two of Coins. Now this Two of Coins is a joker right it's a joker you can see how he's dressed right it's like a joker see how he's wearing a mask you see it there i could never do it right on camera he's wearing a mask 
right? So someone was not who they said they were, Virgo. Someone who's not who said they said they were. And you've been in, I feel you've been knocked right down. Knocked right down. I'd, 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 you know, knocked for six. Had it knocked out of you. That's what I feel, right? And so with this energy here, I feel that, yeah, you're missing love in your life and you're wondering if you'll ever get it again, but you don't want what you've had in the past. You've had to really climb up to get around that joker energy. That's what I feel, which is what's pushed you into your queen of swords, right? Might be difficult, but you are moving to a great place of uh, fulfillment with the life bringer there. Wow, Virgo creating this new life. Ow. <gasps> So the coming following that saying there's a solid offer coming your way. So in other words, fear not, Virgo. After the mess, there's a solid offer coming your way. Page of coins is here. Pages often represent messages, right? So I don't know if you're waiting um, for some news on, it could be a job um, that you've gone for. It, it, could, it could be the dating scene, you know, it could be someone you've met. It, it, it's just, there's a, there's a solid offer gonna come in towards you that you can rely on. It's lovely, right? And it's it's innocent. I always feel that with, with the deer, you know, it's you can trust it. This is someone with out an agenda there's no agenda here and i love the way it's depicted in the woods again you know and the fur is there with the life bringer i love this energy because green is mercury isn't it it's always the language of communication and i feel that's what's coming towards you lots of messages you might have been sat waiting you know watching the post for a while or watching your inbox waiting for some news well it feels it's coming in that joke is in the past you've got rid of it right that's what i feel for Virgo, please, Spirit. It's a lovely reading. Oh, okay. Right, they flow. Just one second. I have to gather them together. They're all topsy turvy now. Look at this. Two of Cups. Gorgeous, right? So, coming after that page but mirroring that queen so there's it could be love offer it's certainly a joining of hands whatever that means for you right two of cups often does mean love but it can also for me like i say mean that deal between two people that agreement between two people who want to support each other and that's what i'm sensing so all of this i feel like you've cleared all the debris all the emotional debris maybe also your human debris you know in terms of finances in terms of um structures whatever to get yourself into this place and that's been very hard you know it's took a while that two of coins in the middle maybe this like idiot played with you whoever this idiot is for you played with you tricked you wouldn't bloody go away cause so much carnage because they do right in your life that it's took a while to come back to virgo wow but you have this is stunning, right? You know, in your high priestess energy, it's coming under that queen of swords. Very much trust your intuition at the moment. Trust the messages you're receiving. Trust your, because um, th this furry is very much talking to you right now, Virgo. That's what I'm feeling. And it's like, trust, trust what messages you're getting. This high priestess, you know, number two, only one one away from the empress and i said you're growing into your empress you know it's wisdom as well can you see there see the owl it's wisdom that i get a clear for you there you go so yeah there's been someone in the mix there's always going to be tricksters in the mix it doesn't matter where you go in life virgo you're going to put across idiots and tricksters you are you know what you get better at is using you know being careful about who you will allow into your life who you will talk to because the high priestess of usually has maybe one maybe two confidants right usually one yeah keeps herself very very close keeps her boundaries very very close you know she doesn't she doesn't go out revealing everything to everybody remember it's male or female she very much is very structured and careful on what information she gives to whom and that would fit perfectly for you virgo coming under that queen of swords because that's very much the same energy of very keeping in the head out of the heart doesn't mean you're not a loving person it doesn't mean you've become a cold person remember you're becoming all queens but this queen of swords is deployed at the minute because you're being very cautious who you trust at the moment virgo and that's quite right you've had your hands burnt burnt badly in the past that's what i'm feeling all right let me pop that there loving this energy for our virgo so tell me more please spirit gorgeous right look at that coming next to the high priestess the star 
stunning. I said you're healing, you know, you've had your hands burnt in the past, you're becoming stronger. The star is all about that. The star is all about wish fulfillment as well. And you can see, you know, she's naked, she's bent down, she's pouring a water, she's nurturing the seeds in the ground that she's putting in that are taking root. You know, it's about magical things happening as well. And it all sits beautifully again with this lovely fairy that's with you, the life bringer, because it is about saying, look, whatever seeds you're popping down right now, Virgo, whatever thoughts whatever you're establishing whatever you're going for is going to bring you wish fulfillment for sure what a beautiful reading virgo wish fulfillment for sure so i want you to keep going keep trusting yourself right this is this person from the past this is the people that hurt you the ten of swords because it's coming under that two of coins next to the star and that's how you switch the energy virgo can you see it that's how you switch the energy you're in this energy you're free you're happy you're building you might feel like you're building from the real ground up but you are building and it is going to bring that fruition here with the ten of swords you can see this person's locked in anger upset practically dead aren't they i mean they look a bit beautiful don't they on that but they can do yeah they, they can be very charming but this person's broken now because they can see you've you've sort of leapt away that's what I'm getting. You've leapt away. You know, you've done the final push and they never thought you would. They wanted you in this energy, not them. And you've managed to transpose that so that they're in it and you're not. That's what I'm getting very strongly, Virgo. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Can you see the difference there where it's coming under from the player to the regretful one? right and they may never let you know it they may never let you know it and if it's a narcissist darlings they never will they never will let you know that they just can't right they just can't because then they have to admit to themselves what well, basically a pig they've been if they want to be a pig stay in the muck in the sty over there don't come into my beautiful space that's what i say <laughs> all about reaping your harvest virgo look at this absolutely gorgeous here we've got this is the seven of pentacles, seven of coins in this card. This is where she flips quickly into the nine, flips quickly then into the empress. Can you see how, again, she's got the basket now. She's starting to pull on the fruits of her labour. And what's interesting in this card, Virgo, is she's often depicted, you know, as a, as a peasant. Like maybe this joker in your life laughed you off, you know, didn't think you'd amount to much because, you know, maybe you wasn't all glam. Maybe you didn't have all designer things. Maybe you didn't, you know, have much at that point in time but you did in your heart you did in your soul and you did in your mind and it was just biding the time till you could bring your gifts out fuller and that's what's happening here so strongly right this is flipping you through now and they can see your basket you know the coins are starting to drop off into your basket virgo and they don't bloody like it i'm telling you that now they do not bloody like it look <laughs> you've reversed this gorgeous four of swords in reverse let me put it up right while i talk you through it all right so this is you healing can you see it's like this night's down on the bed yeah three swords in front from a broken heart one still over the chest where it still hurts and it, and it might still hurt it'll always still hurt that someone could treat you so badly virgo you know you, you, it's very difficult for an empath to get over that to understand that how someone could do that but you do move to an acceptance of well sometimes some people just do right but i'm not battling anymore can you see i'm off my horse i'm healing and where this is reversed now i feel is because it's coming next to that seven of coins which is saying you're bringing in your harvest and i'm going to point out this as well because under this page of coins is where all right this seven of coins is so this feels to me like is i know it's male and female remember take it oh it, oh it is for you but this feels like this solid offer it is of love or a good deal coming in because he's approaching this seven of coins right let's combine our resources let's be a team that's what i'm feeling right because then with this reversal you can see here you're now up yeah you're up out of that energy and this is where this is allowed now to come in it's gorgeous and at two opposite ends of this reading sort of there i can see two and two high priestess two of cups so the more you are your authentic self right the more you are not trying to be someone who you're not which i think is what that joker wanted you to do the more you're staying true to your beliefs wishes and desires the more this person in the past is pissed off but the more you're moving towards your full grounded energy yeah it's definitely a love offer coming in knight of cups 
definitely a love offer coming in. It, the Knight of Cups takes its time to come in, takes its time to come in, but when it does, when it does, it's forever you can rely on it right because this is one that does its research and i'm also feeling that with this uh four of swords as well i feel this person is, is is a match for you because they've been through what you've been through and because they've been through their experience they would never do it to anyone else right so you sort of can rest in that that comfort of that energy so that's what i'm feeling here with the knight of cups um in play so what I want to say to you is trust wherever it's coming in. If you're already in a relationship, it may be going to another level. You know, it, it, it could be uh, marriage. It could be a renewal of vows. It could just be that you both come closer together to go on a new adventure together. But it's definitely this love feeling coming towards you, this, this fulfillment that we talked about with the fairy at the beginning. It's definitely on his way for this Virgo. Absolutely. So what I'm going to do, Virgo, I'm just going to take, because I feel that's everything from the tarot, I'm just going to take a fairy card just to give us an overall message over this reading <laughs> let me just get this it's just right they've sent me two they've sent me two first of all you get the six of winter right this feels very victory and successy to me you know it's beautiful it says positive changes are on the way a welcome relief from troubled times, traveling or relocating. Wow, what did we say all along this, right? This is all happening. It's incoming, Virgo. You've got to keep your faith. You're on the right path. Look at the beauty in that card. I'll just hold it there for you. Yeah, a lovely, colourful existence. That, that just feels great to me because with that, they've said to me, they've sent the Ace of Winter as well. So this is quite specific, right? And the Ace of Winter is all about don't be deterred by challenges along the way. It's important to communicate clearly and accurately amazing new ideas that should be implemented. Wow, what did I say, right? Look at the whole energy in this reading, Virgo, right? Whoever this is for, yeah? The life changer bringing establishment, positive changes, that fulfillment feeling in you, yeah? Don't be deterred. Keep going on that road. You are on the journey to success and good things are coming in very soon listen to this fairy communicating with you virgo because honestly whatever you're doing you've left the idiots behind you know you're moving forward into the right energies focusing on you establishing yourself and it is gorgeous right so stay close virgo all right to yourself to your soul what is my soul journey and what have i come here to achieve and i'm telling you you're on you're on path you're on glide path all right thank you virgo i'm going to leave it there i uh, hope you enjoyed the reading if you did great please do like and subscribe if you haven't already um if you're interested in a reading as i say email me at soulsarantar at gmail.com if you're interested in psychotherapy or counseling support have a look at the website link below see what you think of that a soul siren therapy uh, other than that i will be seeing you very soon uh, i miss you lots uh, and i hope hope this helped all right love and light my darling virgo